Hello and welcome to my first video. I thought this would be a neat thing to record for younger artists who are still not completely comfortable with the programs they're working in and maybe give them some ideas for some easy art projects. Today I'll be making a tile pattern in Clip Studio Paint. Once you have finished the base tile, it's easy to make all kinds of backgrounds out of it that you can use for DeviantArt custom boxes or simply a background for your desktop or for Twitter even. As for the program I'm using, Clip Studio Paint is a great alternative to Paint Tool Sci, especially if you're running Mac. I was actually able to buy this program for around $15 during one of Clip Studio Paint's sales, and even though I've only been using it as my main drawing program for a week or so, I can already tell that it has a lot more to it than Sci does. I'll post a link to Clip Paint Studio's website below. I had been using Paint Tool Sci for years, but long story short, at the moment I do have to use Mac and decided to push myself out of my comfort zone and try a new program. I'm also definitely going out of my comfort zone by recording this video and my voice, which I really don't do much of at all. I've been watching a lot of art streams lately and I'm also very inspired by Jellybee, who I will link in the description. She usually does a lot of traditional art with Copics, but her Zodiac artworks might be familiar to you. So if you are also wanting to get into art with Copic markers, or if you just like her work, she is definitely worth checking out. You'll want to start by drawing and colouring in your pattern elements. For this example, I've made a selection of bandanas. They don't have to be lineless and you can make more complex drawings such as full body characters. In the past, I've usually done a lot of my pattern work in Adobe Illustrator and then imported the designs into Photoshop. But honestly, doing everything in this one program is so much faster and easier. If you want to make a pattern that can be scaled to whatever size you want, it might still be better to make vectors in Illustrator though. I'm just going to speed up the rest of this painting bit. I think you get the idea. If you do want to see more of me just drawing though, please comment below. At this point, I'm not sure whether I'll do another video like this, especially with me talking. So you need to let me know what you think. I don't respond to everything, but I do really value and appreciate all the feedback I get on my work. If you want to know about the technical side of things, I put my sketch layer on the top and set it to multiply. I use the bottom layer for the base colours. The layer above that is a layer mask and where I draw the swirl markings. And the one more layer above that is another layer mask set to multiply and where I lay down my shading. When you're done, all you need to do is merge your layers together, making sure that your background is transparent. Okay, surprise, I'm all done. I have all my elements ready so I can move on to making them into an actual pattern. I find it easier to just open a new canvas. I've set this to 500 by 500 pixels, but if you want to make a pattern with smaller images, you can change the canvas size even smaller. Arrange the elements so they look evened out. You can change this later as I will if you aren't happy with the way the pattern looks on your first try. You will now want to open the materials box. If you aren't sure what the icon on the right side looks like, you can find it from the windows tab at the top of the screen. Now it's just a matter of dragging your elements layer into the box where all the materials are. Once you can see it in the materials list, double click your pattern and make sure you select it to be tileable. Just to show you what it looks like, I have yet another canvas which might be the size of a custom box. Just drag your pattern into the canvas and there you go. You can bucket fill whichever colour you like into the background and edit further until you have a pattern you like. I didn't like this first attempt so I moved the elements around some more and resaved the pattern. Since I'm on YouTube now, I'm obligated to ask you to like, comment and subscribe, but honestly, any feedback in the comments is going to be a big help to me right now. If you wouldn't mind watching more videos, I absolutely need to hear your support or I probably won't. Would you like to see a speed paint in the future or would you prefer another how-to sort of video where I talk over it like this? Please let me know what you think and thank you for watching.